All right, let's go and use TWB system for today's market outlook. Today's 16th of February, 2023, Thursday. All right, let's go. So let's look at the China market first. This is the China market, and I want to tell you guys this, that this is really incredible. Look at how today the China market touched my MA30 beautifully and stopped there and returned back. And now it yeah, broke the important trend line that I have been covering since October. So October low connected to the November and we extended down and wow, look at it. It's incredible. One, two, three, four, for four days, the market touched and recovered and today it has broken it. Now, of course, again, some people will disagree with my trend line. They draw it differently. It doesn't matter. To me, it's up. This is a BNB in TWB and when you have a BNB followed by a breakdown in trend line, this is actually a sell signal. Okay, I say, I repeat myself, sell signal. So I think that the, the China A50 could be coming down to 13,250 in the near term. Today is at 13,570, so about 300 points. And uh, looking at the chocolate bar over here, very high chance we can actually see it, okay? All right, let's go to my, my favorite, my KFC chart first, okay? So first of all, my KFC is still very heavily supporting the Dow Jones. And every time when the market comes down, it actually rebounds. So now where would the Dow be going? Well, we saw a incredible reversal because the market take out all the stops. Then we also see a very powerful recovery here because why? The day before the low was 33,839.5. Yesterday low was 33,839.3. Oh my God, they just have only a 0 .0, 0, 0 0.2 difference. So basically this is really algorithm, right? That means the market really know how to play this game. Every time you come down here, the market rebound. Every time you come down here, the market rebound. So uh, my take is that today I buy that it will still go down. I think it's going to go and come down to here, 33,730 plus. Okay, I think they're coming with a fresh chocolate bar. I believe that it's going to come down here. And of course, you look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is really very strong right now because of all the drawing on funds on them. So as long as the NASDAQ stays up, I think it's going to be very difficult. The fresh chocolate bar is somewhere around here at about 12,330 area. All right. Okay, so that is the, the, um, the NASDAQ. For the Hang Seng, right, uh, very clearly, I believe that Hang Seng is going to come down here. And this particular point is 20,330 area. Uh, it's a very clear rejection on the technical side. So likely here will be my, my target. Yep. And of course, for crude oil, oh, sorry, this is not involved. For gold, sorry, my bad. For gold itself, we have lost the important KFC level at 1921. And most likely, it could go down lower. Now, remember a few days ago, I was telling you guys that gold closed below this point at what, 1865. And I told you guys, if 1865 loses strength, we will see the next target is 1833. And yes, voila, we got it. So as long as gold stays about 1833, it will still be bouncing around. But if it loses 1833 later, then wow, gold can come down all the way to 1805. So guys, look out for this. Uh, all these are the TWB indicator and how we utilize it on the charts, okay? All right, let's go and look at the, the TWB chart on its own. So first of all, this is the Dow Jones and Dow Jones, uh, here we go right now. We can see that it's heavily resisted by the pivot one thirty four thousand one five six. So as long as the Dow cannot cross one five six clearly or convincingly, thirty four thousand one zero four the MLP is critical. If the market loses this, the next support will be at thirty three thousand nine thirty five, and the last support will be at thirty three thousand eight thirty nine. That is a pivot too. Now KSI is green, so it's kind of difficult for the price to come down, as you can see very clearly. But because the KRW is red, so that's why you can see the upside. Once it goes up, right, the selling comes in almost immediately. So bottom picking for those who are bullish and those who want to short the market, try to short as high as possible right now. For the NASDAQ, right, well, you can see very clear that it's very uh, orchestrated upside. Uh, the lows get higher each time. KSI is green, so that maintain the buying side. So today, 12,644 MLP, the upside target will be at 12776, if not 12816. Not too far away, but 100 point away, yeah? Downside, well, you had to really break MLP first for it to come down to pivot two, which I think that it could be tough unless the boys decide to dump tonight. Now, S&P 500, we have a red arrow right now on top. That means that selling pressure will start to kick in if it's possible. So MLP is 4141, current price 4151. So if the market loses 4141, we can see the market coming down to 4127 in the near term. All right. KSI has turned red, KRW red. That's why the red arrow is there. So traders be very careful. 
Now for DAX, it's already open. We see DAX have rejected the BNB extension again at 15607. So, and pivot one is also there. So double rejection here. So likelihood, um, DAX may be pulling back down to the MLP, which is at about uh, 15,467. So watch out for that. I think that will be a pullback of 100 points on the DAX itself, okay? And um, oh, some of FTSE, yeah? let me just bring in FTSE here. Give me a minute. FTSE, 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 where are you? Okay, here we go. FTSE is in the house. Okay, let's take a look at FTSE. Okay, now FTSE, as I mentioned to you, is really at the high level. It's time to take some profit from the FTSE itself. I think that you can consider to short some FTSE because I think that at 8,000 is really, really high. And I feel that we can see further downside on this market. Yeah. So traders, if you are comfortable, you don't mind taking a little speculative trade, I think FTSE can give a try. Okay, all right. So let me just give me a moment. Let me just text my friend on this and then to do some shorting on FTSE too. Okay. All right. So this is my view. All right. Of course, if you think your market is going to be bullish, you can expect to go FTSE to go up to 8075. It is possible. But I think that 8000 is a very critical psychological level. And it happened to be 8007 is my uh, pivot too. So I think that taking a sell is better in my opinion. Okay. All right, but the KSI and KRW, both of them are actually very positive. You can see that's why ever since here with the green arrow pop up, right? That's why the market is so bullish for the last few days, up 300 points. So in the moment, we have the indicators turning bullish. All right. Okay, so that is the uh, FTSE for you covering for the first time. How about Nikkei? Now for the Nikkei, as you can see right now, it has rejected the pivot one as of today. The pivot one is 27,655 and the market rejected it. Now the MLP is 27,668. So if you look at the intraday chart, right, you can see that why the Nikkei today got rejected. Let's, let's take a look, yeah? This is the five minute chart. You can see this is the, the star to inform you that the market has peaked. And when the market loses MLP, you can see the price comes off, all right? And of course, this is also uh, in, uh, in cohesion with the pivot one. So there's a bit of stack here. So if the market cannot stay above pivot one, most likely Nikkei is going to come down. My view is that we can see 27,532 uh, tonight if the market, the US market continue to sell a bit. Yeah. Okay. So that is the FTSE. KSI is green, but KRW is red. So mix back here. All right. So we have a few. Let's look at Hang Seng right now. Now for the Hang Seng, right, you can see that it has been trying to go up, but the KSI and the KRW both are red. So that gave a lot of resistance here. Now, of course, the BNB um, today, the BNB SL become a strong resistant. So 21,259 has been a strong resistant today. Once it touch it, it reverse cost. Now, why the market go up first today? Because the opening price is above pivot one. And we all know that when the market is above OP and above pivot one, it's always a buy. And true be told, and it was above MLP at the same time. So that's why at the start of the day, you can see that the Hang Seng just keep on going up really like a... Uh, 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 market possess all the way the bomb came in bum, all the way go up right but once it hit the bnb sl point you notice that it struggled for a while before giving way and then coming out at the same time the china f50 also came off so probably that is the reason reason why the hang seng came off so with all this information now what do i see well i think that the hang seng is kind of um, supported around this area at 27,780. Uh, 27, my bad sorry and if the market failed to stay above 20,780 the next target will be 20,482. Now the KCB, which is fresh chocolate bar, 20,309 looks very delicious. I just got this feeling that maybe if the Dow Jones loses the 34,000 psychological level, we can see the Hang Seng coming down to 20,309 in the near term. That's about 700 points from where we are right now. Okay, so all the indices is done. Let's look at the crude oil. Now for crude oil, you can see today is a DJ, DD. So by default, as long as it's above OP, it's a buy. And of course, at the same time, the pivot one is 78.39 and the opening price today is 78.49. So which means that as long as the market stays above OP, today crude oil could go up. Now think about this. If crude oil goes up, it will be going towards the $81 level and that will definitely make Biden administration jumps because they have just um, dumped more than 20, over million dollar, um, 20 million barrels of oil and it did have some selling effect but the long two tail tell me that nope, the market have absorbed it. So if you ask me, right, with the KSI green right now, it is very, very possible to see crude oil going up to $81. So write it down somewhere, guys. I think that $81 is coming in, yeah, for crude oil in the near future. Okay, so we are done in crude oil. And now we're at the gold market. Let's take a gold, okay. 
All right, let's take a look at the gold right now. Well, the gold market, we can see that yesterday we saw gold coming down to 1830. Congratulations for those who have shorted with me. Now, but the thing is that although it came down, it got itself rejected or rebound from there. So 1833 become now a KCB. The next target is 1826 is a regular KCB and the one that's fresh chocolate bar is 1814, which happened to coincide with the BNB extension of 1816. So if you ask me, as long gold goes below, right, goes below opening price is 1835, we can see gold coming down all the way to 1815 region, okay? I think that will happen because KSI and KCX, both of them, is showing the downside indication, yeah? So traders, please take note of that, okay? So that is for gold. And I forgot to put my silver again. I apologize. I'll just skip first right now. Let's look at the Bitcoin. Now for Bitcoin, wow, what an incredible pump up. So I'm wrong, guys. A Bitcoin, apparently there was some strength. I don't know what's the reason. If you know, please put it in the comment box. But of course, when the market breaks above the BNB support level, it has the potential to go to the BNB RL, which of course a single day it went there. Now, why is Bitcoin in the uh, good books right now? Apparently, the, there's some ongoing rumors saying that um, the White House is going to clamp down some, some crypto, yeah? And the thing is this, they actually didn't say Bitcoin in a way. So if that's the case itself, right, that may actually cut off all competition and give Bitcoin the only standing alone um, in the crypto world. So now the thing is this, based on the technical, the KSI green and no KCX bar, that means that this Bitcoin can really go to 25,154. Now, any higher between 5,573, which I think is kind of possible if, let's say, the equity market goes into a selling mode, yeah? Okay, so that is Bitcoin. Let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum also shot up. Now, yesterday, I tell you guys, Ethereum, you can buy if you come down to 1,405. And now today, wow, Ethereum just shot up all the way to the BNB, uh, what they call uh, extension area. So that is very, very good choice. And of course, the KSI and the KCX already given you signal two days ago. So if you remember all these, right, then you should know that um, this, this uh, Ethereum is going to go higher, right? All right, so that will be all. Oh, sorry, I forgot to use the currency. Just give me a short, short moment. How many currency do I have? It's dollar yen. Just give me the currency right now. Apology for that mistake here. For the dollar yen today, it has touched the 133.96 level. I told you guys the dollar yen will hit. And it's one, two, three, three working days as usual. It has hit the BNB extension. So that's why we should see some profit taking. And the pivot two is a 133.66. So if you ask me, if the market goes below that, the selling may come back down all the way to here. And of course, things will get even dicier then. All right, now of course, if the dollar pushes up itself, 135.18 will be the first target. Huh? KSI is full of buyers, but the KRW shows that the market people are not very comfortable with it. So nonetheless, it's all right, just go slow. Just be careful. Things can really work out fine. All right, that is the dollar yen and I don't want to pound now i told you guys pound is trying to take some profit and yesterday pound really come down yesterday i told you that if pound breaks below here which is that 1.2150 remember i said that pound can come down all the way to the bnb sl point which is like 1.2030 so that's for 120 pip trade hopefully you have heard it yourself because i share you guys when the price goes up when the ksi is red it's never a good sign and once the market breaks the previous low selling is almost confirmed so this one i shared this with you many times before hopefully you guys have caught it okay all right that'll be all for today hope you like the technical and wish you all the best for the next trading day this cal signing off of today's trading day and tomorrow itself all right wish you all the best cal signing off bye bye